Hey guys, it's Hitman23, and I'm uh, coming on tonight to do a binder video. I haven't done a binder video in about a gazillion years, and um, just thought I'd come in and uh, show you some stuff in this, um, what I would call a miscellaneous binder. I don't have a title for it yet, because there's a few different themes in it. Um, so once I, um, I think about it some more, and if I add more stuff to it, then maybe I'll come up with a name for the binder. But right now I just have, like if you can see, it starts off with blowing bubbles. So this is the stuff, probably the most uh, enjoyable thing about the hobby that I, I undertake is finding these type of gems. And um, just having fun with this stuff. You don't have to have always, you know, the hot rookie or the you know, the Mickey Mantle or the, the Roberto Clemente card or the pre-war card that's worth $15 million. You know, those are all great. Don't get me wrong. I love that stuff. But I also think there's a part of the hobby that um, a lot of people probably just overlook. And it's just, uh, you know, I you know the common card. And uh, you can see you can have a lot of fun with common cards. And I think uh, G's Mikey has made a video recently about about that as well, about you know just having fun with your collection. And I really enjoy curating these types of uh, these cards and putting them together in the binders. And uh, it's just really fun. So you can see there's you know guys you may never have heard of before. You've got you know Burt Blylevin. So you've got a little bit of everything. And you know Gabe Kapler. Um, and just you know it's just fun actually seeking these cards out. And uh, that's why I like buying these, um, you know, I'll go to a flea market and I'll buy a big tub of cards. And, you know, of course, it's 99.99% 80s and 90s stuff that we've all seen before and, you know, nothing crazy. But this is the kind of stuff I find in there. And, of course, there's Junior in the center. That's a great card. You know, so sometimes I try to put the, you know, the kind of the showcase card in the center. And, uh... You can see that. So I love doing this. And you can see a couple more on the back side here that are, I don't have a regular uh, full page yet. So I will throw some on the back side until I get uh, get more cards to make a new page. Because I technically don't double, um, double card my slots. You know, I like to keep one card per slot. And then I've got the sunglasses. The sunglasses PC. And again, there's some real characters in here, like uh, you see Roger McDowell. He was definitely a character of the game. He's got his Lasorti U University undershirt on. And, you know, Jose Rijo has a few cards with those glasses and like a super soaker. And you got stuff from the 70s, like Henry Cruz wearing them old dark, you know, Ray-Ban type glasses that you just don't see anymore. You know, in the course of the 90s, you, got, you know, Hall of Famer Jeff Bagwell there with his, I don't know what type of glasses those are, but those are really hot in the 90s. And then we just keep going and you have the clip-ons or the flip-up glasses that were popular for a long time. Alex Cole, classic player that uh, had all sorts of different types of glasses on in his car, on his cards and you know, the goggles that he wore. You know, Dan Ford with the Aviators, right? So you got a little bit of everything. There's another Roger McDowell with the glasses and the headband and the lollipop and, you know, good stuff like that. There's another Riho card, you know, with the funky sunglasses. And you got another Roger McDowell. So you can see. And back on this side here, we got some beautiful set, the 94 Pinnacle set, which I really like a lot. You don't even have to be wearing the glasses. They could just, you know, be around their necks or up in their hats. But as long as the card features some sort of eyewear, that's what I'll put in there. So this is a double because it's got the glasses and he's holding up a slide. So that's kind of a cool, you know, different, uh, different photo there. And of course, that's Pedro's brother, Pedro Martinez's brother, Ramon. And then we're going to go to the ball tossing page. So the guy's tossing balls. <laughs> so... 
the one I don't have on these pages is probably the most classic one. It's the 1972 uh, Roberto Clemente. Uh, I do have a copy of that card, but it's in my Roberto Clemente PC. Um, but these are fun too. Like these are really cool. I enjoy that. You know, guys just, you know, having fun, kind of a classic classic pose i just toss him up the baseball and you got somebody you know juggling matt morris is juggling there and there's one in an inaction shot of joe oliver tossing the ball probably back to the umpire or maybe the, the pitcher um that might be an homage to the 72 uh roberto clemente because it's a pirate player but i don't know i'll say it is and there's you know uh a jim tomei you know first upper deck card you got the old I don't know if that's a, not a college jacket, but it's, you know, the college style letter jacket. Pretty cool there. And then Craig Wilson. It gives a couple of cards of Craig Wilson tossing balls. And there's one on the backside here, right here. You got uh, Granger. I don't know who the hell that is. And then we have the on deck guys. Guys just hanging out on deck. They could have, you know, a donut on their bat. They could be wiping it down with a pine tar. Um, they could be kneeling, whatever. But these are just kind of, you know, on deck shots of players. And so I enjoy that as well. There's some um, more on this page. See, so you got to keep your eyes peeled. And there's a guy, you know. There's a Hal Morris with his bat and the weighted bat and I don't know, it looks like some sort of other type of like shish kebab weight he's got going on there. So that's pretty cool. And then we jump over to the umpires. So I spy an umpire. You know, we got to give love to the umpires. I know people don't like the umpires, but you know what? They're part of the game and what, what can you say about the ump? So these are all cars that feature an ump somewhere or a part of an ump. So this one, the 73 Dave Nelson, you can see right there, there's an umpire right there. And then the 91, beautiful clear, uh, very, you know, kind of center focus in that card, the umpire. And then we have an obscure umpire there by Mike Fitzgerald. So you get the note, you get the, the idea. And there's the ump right behind Carlton Fisk. So love this kind of stuff. And what else we got here? The great 70, you know, the 73 tops. Right there. John Ellis arguing with the umpire. Right? And then there's a cool overhead shot of J.D. Davis uh, from a couple years ago. Um, tops Heritage, that's a cool shot. And you can kind of see the ump behind him right there. There's a nice shot of the ump in that one there as well. And that one, the ump's like, you know, featured maybe more than the baseball player. You know, that's pretty cool. That's a good one. And then we'll jump to the next page. There's part of an ump. There's part of an ump. There's most of an ump. Cool 87 tops, the ump walking away on the, on the uh, mound visit. Uh, play at the plate with the ump making the call. That's pretty cool. We see a face mask just peeking out of the corner there. Got the ump behind Willie McGee. Behind Glaber Torres. Behind Sid Bream. So there's a lot of these. There's a 90 Leaf Dave Stewart. And somebody trying to get in the middle maybe of an argument. I don't know. And there's a reprint of the uh, 73 Roberto Clemente, his final card, but you know, nice little face mask in there of the ump. So you get the idea. That's a nice one too. So this is what I really enjoy. I really enjoy going through this type of stuff and digging this stuff out. It's fun. It keeps my brain going. <laughs> And I think they look very cool set up in a binder. There's Keith Hernandez with the ump back him. I think that's Ken Kaiser, I believe. The old National League ump. That's back in the day when they had National League umps and they had American League umps. 
Now the umps are just, you know, for the whole MLB. That one's a real, that, that one's a tough one right there. You can see it right there, the outline of the ump's head. I was kind of stretching on that one, but what the hey. There's his arm. The ump's trying to get out of the way of a, you know, maybe a double play ball there. There's the beautiful 84 Donra set represented. And they've got a lot of these. we got a lot. I could probably do a whole binder eventually of these. <laughs> there he is, way back there. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta chop those nails. Dee Dee and the ump. I got a lot of these bad boys. There's Mookie and his awesome glasses. Look at that, the shades, the up behind him. Here's an ump making a, you know, call at the plate. And the 91 Ultra Joe Girardi, gonna call somebody out it looks like. So, that's a cool one. That's a, that's maybe one of the best ones. The ump is really featured in that picture. And again, this one's kind of a hidden, hidden ump. He's right there, right behind him. So, some of these you got to really look at. And that's what I do. I really take a good look at my cards. Um, I kind of go over them with a fine tooth comb to find things maybe in the pictures that are cool. You know, of course, it's the more busier pictures. You know, but I really like to take a look at the cards and see, see what's going on in the background and, and around the players. So, yeah, hey, here's a big one, man. This is definitely going to get its own binder eventually. I think, it's a, I think I have that in there twice. That's a boo-boo. <laughs> That's all right. We're allowed to make boo-boos. And there he is right there. You can see him like a shadow or like a blurry, blurry shot of the ump in that one. Same on that one. And there's another stretch, but you can see him right, right here. If my finger comes in, he's right there. You see an elbow of an ump right here. <laughs> so hope you guys are enjoying this. I I uh, I love it. That's a good one right there. So we got everything. A little bit of modern. A little bit of the you know the eighties and nineties era. We got some. You know, 70s. And you probably really didn't start seeing umps and cards. I mean, I know the 55 Bowman had ump cards. You know, they've made ump cards over the years. But um, they really probably didn't start seeing umps on cards. Probably the first ones were the 56 tops, you know, with the painted action shots. There were probably some cards with umps in them. Um... But during the 60s, uh, there really weren't a lot of action shots on the field. So you really didn't see them in the 60s. And then really probably in the 70s, you know, in 71 when they started using action photos is when you kind of get the umps in there. So I had to give the umps some love. So I think that might be the last, or maybe there might be a couple more here. More of these, hor you know, these, horizontal, these horizontal cards. So... The light from my phone is glaring. I apologize. But these, uh, you know, some people don't like the uh, the landscape cards. I don't mind them if they're done well. And I think some of these really do a, a good job for this type of, uh, these type of photos. You get the good action. There's a great 73 card of Tommy Agee. And honestly, you know, that was a big thing for Tops in 73 especially. Um, you didn't honestly know on some of these cards who the player was featured on it. That right there is Tommy Agee. You know, the player is not featured in the center of the card. He's off to the side. So very odd photograph choices in 73. But to me, some of the most classic, uh, you know, in-action photos are in that set. Just some weird stuff going on in that. And then there's a cool one. You got uh, Chuck Carr bunting, I believe. That's Chuck Carr. Yep. We get some modern. Okay. 
There's a great action shot of Will Middlebrooks in the ump right behind him right here. And what are we going to next? Let's see, are there are more. Dang, a lang a ding dong. There are a ton more. I did not realize, I honestly did not realize I had this many ump cards in this binder. I thought there was maybe four pages, so it's way more than that. And you get the idea. But I'll show what I got. There's a, there's a, you know, a torso-less ump. Another one of those uh, 71, you know, I call them the 71 top heritage. I think it's 2019 or something. I got to do the math. I'm, I can't remember off the top of my head if those are 2019 or 2020. But whatever, I call them the 71 heritage. Because that's the design they went after. So you get, you know, of course the home plate shots, you're going to get a great chance of getting the ump in those. Here's a great action shot from the 73 tops. Um, game three of the World Series. And you can see the, uh, you know, the um, umpire there ready to, it looks like, maybe make a safe call. There's some umpire legs. Right. Oh, just enjoy the cards. I always like that 92 Ricky Jordan. That's a cool, nice. Yes, I am videotaping. Next, we got the autograph cards. So, um, I've always liked this one, and I, uh, this uh, 93 Upper Deck, uh, Mike Perez, because it's like one of those space-time continuum cards, because it's a picture of him holding the card, and on that card, it's a picture of him holding the card, so it's like infinity. You know, if you keep going in. <laughs> so these are all guys signing something. There's the old Rusty Cunts. Juan gone. You might miss that one if you go by it fast, but there he's signing a ball down there. Anthony Young, who I believe passed away. I believe Anthony Young passed away. Barry Jones signing a program or something with the old pillbox hat. Mike Benjamin giving something back to a fan. Maybe it looks like a glove he had just signed. Jim Palmer signing a jersey. Like that, signing the hat. So it's cool seeing the players interacting with the fans. Right? That's a cool, you know, little... Real thing. I wonder who this guy is right here. And he's famous uh, for being on a baseball card. And that's a, that's always a nice one, too. And Rondell White. Mark Portugal. With the glasses on. Chris Haney with the glove on his head. Some more guys signing here. A great one, Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Shout out to John Wade Boggs fan. My wife and son are watching Shameless. <laughs> Sorry for the curse name. Oh boy. I need my own studio. There's a piles of cards that I'm working on, on uh, sorting through. Mom. Mom. Hall of Famer Ozzy Smith. Mom. There you go. So this is a cool one because I have one of guys doing interviews. So this is a double here. He's doing an interview and he's signing a, a baseball. So you'll see that card again. There's Sweet Lou Whitaker. And that was always a cool one because if you see it really close here. There's like a string. It probably somebody sent down like a, a fishing line to... Um, to Scott Rudinsky to sign that over the dugout, so that's kind of cool. There's some more on the field. Here's Alex Cole and the famous classes. Jeffrey Hammer and Hammonds. He was hot for about a minute. Cool. 
cool one of uh, James Mouton. Tony Gwynn doing a signing there. So again, a little bit of mix of everything. Some Hall of Famers. Some non-Hall of Famers. The Doug Drabeck. There's a Phil Flantier with the bat rack behind him. So that's a cool one. I was like, hey, Tony, over here. And he looked up and he took his picture. And then we got some of those. The, uh, the sideways or the horizontal cards. And there's, I don't know if that's a fan or like a, a nephew or whomever, but that's a cool one. Again, another another dude on a baseball card um, who we have no idea who it is. Then we got some Mike Trout action given a graph there. Terry Mulholland, favorite of Mike O's. Reggie, can't wait to watch the uh, Reggie documentary. I believe it comes out this weekend on Prime. So I'll definitely be watching that. Um, just caught the um, most of the Nolan Ryan um, documentary. That was really good. I probably have to rewatch it because I... I think I started and I kind of fell asleep and then watched a little bit more and then kind of, you know, in and out for the last half of it. So I'm definitely going to sit down and watch that. But it was so far very good. I'm really digging it. So I'm really looking forward to the Reggie. There's a Pedro Martinez. Oh, I think I have that in there twice. I just noticed that. And that's a cool one. Brian Jordan signing the helmet. You know, two sports star Brian Jordan. You know, came up right a little after uh, Dion and, you know, Bo. And then we got the interview cards. So, guys, uh, giving interviews. Got a little microphone action in those cards. So, he's got the headphones on and everything. See that with the interviews. Sorry for the glare, guys. Ooh, this video is a little longer than I thought it was going to be. It doesn't seem to be a quickie, but not so much. And there's that Ben McDonald again. So doing the interview and signing. So I put that in there twice. And there's a guy getting dumped on and giving an interview. So that's kind of cool. That's Aaron Hill. Ken Singleton, super solid ball player. They even did some... Modern one from 20, uh, 2022. Got the old NBC logo on that one. And then actually behind this, we have guys with cameras. So some sort of camera is in the shop. Right, so there's our Ivan de Jesus, and the camera's behind him. He's not holding it, but it's in the shot. And then we got uh, Al, or not, that's not Al Leiter, it's Mark Leiter, his brother, holding his kid. That might be Mark Leiter Jr. Al Osuna behind the big old, you know, 90s style camera. We got a camcorder. You know, digital cameras. You know, pretty cool stuff. I, I dig this stuff. So I think there's one more behind here. A few more players. Whoops. My battery is going to die, so I apologize if that burned out on you. But Andy Van Slyke taking a picture. So that's it, guys. That's what I got. Um, one of my miscellaneous binders yet to be named. You know, I'll call it a binder to be named later. I have a name one. Have a name um, in the comments. Too. Give me a name, guys. If you come up a name for this binder, go for it. Throw them down in the comments. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd like to do some more of these. Um, you know, I, I do have a lot of cards to show, and I, I tend to fall into the ruts of just showing what I get in the mail, but I'd like to do more of this stuff as well. And um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a good night, and I will catch you on the next video. 
And may the cardboard God shine out upon each and every one of you. And let's see, we're going to go out tonight on a binder page, but I want it to be a vertical card, not a horizontal card. And it seems like I can't even get to what I want. And let's do it right here. Joe Girardi. It's just random. <laughs> Gotta have something to take us out. Joe Girardi in the half and up. All right, guys. Take care. This was sloppy. I'm sorry. Baby.